Ioto is a shut-in due to a tragic event that happened to her. Her best friend, and the other person who really thought her heterochromia was pretty, Koito, committed suicide. One day, I is walking home and spots a dead bug on the road. For whatever reason, she felt compelled to give it a grave. Soon after, it returns to life, was it really dead to begin with? And speaks to her, telling her to go to a certain place where they sell special eggs. Once an egg is purchased, you will be transported to an alternate dimension, where the egg will hatch, protect what's inside until the very end, and you will clear the mission. Do this enough times and your innermost desire will come true. For I, it would be her friend Koito coming back to life. As weird and contrived as this seems, it opens up for some pretty deep moment. Especially when I meet Rika, Miru, and Momo. Each one has their own reasons for partaking in these missions. And to see them get hurt and struggle just for their wish to be granted is a pretty painful experience. Then, there is all of the drama in the real world. As well that they have to contend with. Whether it is I not wanting to go to school. Rika's issues with her mother. Momo struggling with her own identity, or Miru's well. Going into her story would spoil quite a few things. Let's just say she has some regrets. When it comes to her sister as well as a colleague. In short, I is an emotion. She can be happy, sad, excited, depressed, caring, cold. And everything in between at a moment's notice. The way her facial expressions are drawn is absolutely immaculate. North they truly drive home each one of those emotions whenever I expresses them. Between losing her friend Koyo, her mom's budding relationship with her teacher who also had ties to Koito, going through the trials, her newfound friendships with Rika, Momo, and Miru, and everything else in between. I experienced a lot, this is why she had such a diverse personality, because she was put into a lot of different situations that called upon a myriad of different emotions. There were many layers to I which made her such an endearing character. So much so that you found yourself sharing those same emotions with her. I is a young girl of short height and petite figure, whose most distinguishing feature is her heterochromia, which causes her right eye to be a yellowish amber and her left eye to be a slightly darker shade of ocean blue. She has dark blue hair which she wears in a fluffy bob cut with a long ahoge swooping towards her left side. Above her right eye is a yellow triangular hair clip, while her left eye is naturally covered up by her bangs. Ai is often seen wearing a bright yellow hoodie, with a sunflower design near the pockets of her hoodie and volleyball shorts when outside. She wears a striped light pink and light purple tank top at home. When attending school, she wears the school uniform, a white dress shirt, dark navy pinafore and green tie. Her shoes of choice are white and blue platform sneakers. I is generally seen with a calm and blank expression on her face, but has been shown to get quite emotional and expressive when in high-pressure situations. I also seems to come out of her shell with her friends, and often wears a small smile around them. I is a generally introverted, soft-spoken and withdrawn girl who spends most of her time alone. She dislikes being around people who have hurt her friends and is extremely brave, stoic and protective towards people that she cares about. Initially, she did not think having friends was important and put in little effort to make them. However, she eventually made friends with a transfer student named Koito Nagase, who was similarly ostracized by her peers. Being a victim of bullying, I is extremely self-deprecating. When Koito committed suicide, I blamed herself, and committed herself to saving her. After rescuing Kurumi Seijo from the Sino evils and her wonder killer, a strong sense of determination and perseverance begins to show in I as she declares that she will continue saving people until she can bring Koito back to life. 
Pai is often seen reminiscing about the loss of Koito, then suffers from the crushing feeling of guilt from it. She is shown to have grown from it, becoming set on bringing her friend back. Indirectly, she also spawns a sense of helpfulness and kindness. Seen when she helps Minami Suzuhara in confronting her inner fears and worries. This side of her is also seen in the real world with Niru Aonuma. Offering to be her friend to overcome both of their loneliness. Pai is also rather naive. Completely lacking any for of knowledge about sex and anything related. Niru calls her hopeless for this. But also thinks the world needs someone like I. Due to her kind, caring, and selfless nature. I used to be a lonely girl without any friends. She was bullied often by her classmates for having heterochromia. Then, a girl named Koito Nagase transferred to I's class. Koito immediately became interested in I, even going out of her way to follow I home. The two quickly bonded and Koito became I's first friend. I believed that Koito was getting bullied out of jealousy. I tried her best to help out and show proof of the bullying by recording it while it happened. But she was too frightened to move when it happened and failed. Koito eventually killed herself, likely as a result of this bullying. Koito's suicide is what led I to become a shut-in, avoiding school and refusing to speak to her teacher when he visits her home. It is for bringing Koito back to life that I accept ACCA and Urahaka's game and begins using the Wonder Eggs gotcha machine to get the egg and to get to the dream world and save the egg girls from the Sino evils, haters and the wonder killer.